The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team. Well, welcome everybody. Well, over the next 30 minutes, we are going to share three amazing transformation stories from three people who not only have inspiring physical transformations, but who also have amazing mental, vocational, if that's even a word, and financial transformations, and who've assisted hundreds of thousands of people to become healthier with our physician-led health and lifestyle coaching program. And what's unique about each one of these individuals is that each of them left very successful careers in the home-based business after over 16 years. Uh, Each of them had 16 years or more experience, and they chose to join our mission to get America healthy. And it's so exciting to hear their stories because they are doing so much good in the world, and I can't wait to share those stories with you. Now, some of you are watching this right now, and you're already coaches and clients with our program, and we're so glad that you're here. We're excited for you to explore further about what's available through the Optavia program and opportunity. But now some of you may be in an existing home-based business, and you may be very satisfied with your professional life, but you may be curious on how our health program can assist you or a family member to get healthier physically or mentally. And we're so glad that you're here. Um, We can't wait for you to learn more about how our program is changing lives. Or maybe you're in a position right now where you're healthy physically, but you'd like to improve your mental health and well-being in your life. And you'd like to explore the possibilities of what's available with inside of our health coach opportunity. Or maybe you're looking for all three, physical, mental, and financial well-being. And for those of you, I'm so glad that you're here, no matter where your background is, because we have so many different things that we can offer the world. And we're just glad that you're here to support this process and just learning and exploring. My personal story is, is that I started this program 10 years ago. I had no background in home-based businesses. I had no uh, background in health or nutrition. Actually, my Achilles heel. I was a business. I was successful in the world, but what I was really failing was was my physical health, and it bothered me. And it was bothering me because it was becoming more and more painful as I was becoming more and more unhealthy and I was beginning to see those habits in my family members and I began to see them suffering in different ways beyond just the idea of weight. But I was introduced to this program and it transformed my life. And when I was offered the opportunity to become an Optavia coach, I had a lot of reservations. I didn't know if it was the right fit for me because I was unhealthy and I was just learning about health. But what I learned was it was a great accountability strategy for me. And that's the reason that I decided to pay it forward with health. But it wasn't until I met this next panelist, somebody that's made a huge influence in my life. It was a chance meeting at an airport. I had known that Terry was one of the top leaders in the, in the company and that she was changing a lot of people's lives. And I had heard little pockets of her story. But as I just you know, sheepishly walked up beside her and she was this top leader in our health coaching company as I asked her to share her story. And humbly, she shared where she came from what she did and why she decided to leave and why she decided to transform the lives of so many Americans. And I can't wait for you to hear her amazing story. Terry, welcome to tonight's webinar. Hey, good evening, David. Oh my gosh, I remember that a visit with you at the airport like it was yesterday. And, you know, I just, first of all, I want to welcome everybody on the line here tonight. And I love the the title for the group that, that gets to to share tonight is, is, you know, home-based businesses. You know, my husband, David, and I, I, I'll, I'll talk about these slides here for a minute so then you can take them down, but that's my husband and I. And, you know, we, we're, uh, next week we're celebrating 35 years of marriage. And let me tell you, the, more, the closer we, um, uh, the more we develop and become um, as Optavia coaches, the better our marriage and our life gets. It's pretty amazing. The, the second picture is just a super small sample 
of the amazing people that we get to be blessed to be around. You know, if, uh, let me tell you, um, I always kind of say, um, you know, you want to have dinner with people who fight over the check. That, the reason I chose that picture is because someone got really sneaky on that one. And those are the type of people that we get to be around. And then also um, just great adventures like hot air balloons. And then the, the greatest joy for us is um, our grandchildren and being able to be fully present uh, with them. So as I share a little bit of my story, gosh, you know, the very interesting part is where does it start? Because you know what, it's not anywhere near ending. And, but I'm gonna actually go way back to um, when our son was born. He's 33 now. And we knew that, um, that uh, one of us wanted to be able to be at home with our kids. And uh, you know, David worked for UPS and a great company, great benefits, you know, we had done that. And um, so it was gonna be me. And I knew it required us to be self-employed, just for me to be self-employed. But it also helps the fact that I don't like to follow rules I don't like other people to tell me what to do. And, uh, and so I just, I kind of want to ask you guys, if, if the benefits of being self-employed is important to you, which you get to determine your own hours, you get to determine who you work with, you get to determine how much you get paid, you get all the, the benefits um, and those types of things, then you've stumbled upon the side of that. So, for 17 years, and ironically, our other two guest speakers tonight, we were all uh, self-employed for 17 years, is I, we were, I was trying to work and build um, something that worked for that, for, for all the benefits we were looking for. I was able to be fully present with our kids. I was able to be fully present when my parents were passing away. I was, we were able to do all the things that where you get to determine your hours. But what, what I realized is at some point, it wasn't fulfilling enough. It wasn't, you, you give, when you're self-employed, you give a lot. And just one day, I have to tell you, I woke up and realized as I was climbing the ladder of success, and I was probably in the top 3% uh, of the company I was working with, had earned six Cadillacs. I just woke up one day and went, I, I, think, my, I think my ladder of success is leaned up against the wrong building. And just about that time, um, ironically, my health was failing. Huh, what was happening? Stress and health failing. I kind of think it was going around the same, same thing. So I was introduced to the program. So my husband, David, decided to coach. And we start, oh, actually, we were started to refer all of our family and friends. And our health coach said, hey, you might want to consider coaching. And to be honest with you, I was a little stubborn. I, I wanted to, to try to keep doing what I was doing. And so my husband started coaching. I fell in love with, with um, the results he was getting and the, the people we were assisting. And then we went uh, to a convention and ran, and I got to meet the Integris people that started Optavia. Dr. Anderson, the co-founder, and Dan Bell, the person who wrote our business model. And, and then, then we just started to open up our eyes and dream. So I kind of want to ask you all today, have you started to dream? Have you somehow squashed those dreams? Like I said, we're on 35 years of marriage. You know, as we were planning our wedding and having dreams of our future, we had grandiose dreams. And sometimes that kind of gets um, swept under the carpet when you, or you forget about them. I don't want those to go away. Anything is possible if you're partnered with the right people in the right company. And it's just such a blessing to be able to grow personally um, get to work with um, my husband. Um, oh, something else I wanted to say is when I was in, with another company, not one of our family members joined, joined in. Not one. We have 17 family members who are part of Optavia and um, are growing a thriving, thriving company. But what's really nice is, you know what? There are so many people, and this might be you yourself, who are wanting your life to be a little different than kind of what you've fallen into. And I want to invite you to, um, to pay attention to those, what, those pings on your heart and what you're dreaming about. And with technology and social media and all those things, we get to um, kind of show our life, not in a braggadocious way, but we get to show, you know what? God gave us these gifts. Let's, let's run with them. And our next speaker that I'm super, super excited to introduce, uh, she actually unfollowed me on social media. She was so annoyed with 
with um, the way I was showing up. I woke up one day, I was living on the East Coast and she was living on the West Coast, to a text, a private message, a Facebook wall post that said, tell me, tell me, tell me more. I have, I have ignored this for too long and now I am, my heart has been hurting and I am ready to um, become all that God intended me to be. So I'm super excited for one of the amazing people that we do get to work with. Uh, Charlene Green, come on out and, and share your story. Thank you, Terry, for all the ways you blessed my life, but really and truly, thank you so much for um, that beautiful introduction. So you guys, this is me, um, and I love this picture of my transformation because I, I the body change is amazing, but it's actually, um, the energy of my face and the smile, I think it's my presence came into play fully for really one of the first times in my adult life, I was able to connect my mind and my body in a way I'd never been able to do before. You can see I had a, a really amazing transformation there and, and you can just see my husband Lee and I here, we were newlyweds when I found Optavia, when we found Optavia and it changed my life so much, especially the life, um, relationship, the relationship life that I had with my children. You can see Jake here and Monique here. And there's, and then I also have a wonderful stepson, Brad, who's not pictured here, but it changed it in all ways. And you guys can just see the, um, the satisfaction um, on my face. And I don't think that's something you can ever fake. So David, thank you for showing those pictures. And um, I love the sign behind me. This is me. And that's one of the things that Optavia has allowed me to come into the fullness of expressing who I am. And I, just like Terry, had 17 years um, in a direct sell company. And, um, you know, I think that for the first three years, I loved that career. It really, I was just growing and changing. And I think I stayed the, the all the other years too long there because um, I think life is about fully learning to express ourselves. We are meant for expansion. We are, we are meant for more. And what happened for me really was I was on a path, like Terry said, I unfollowed her because I was on a path to become a national sales director. And it was just always right there, you know, really for 12 years, I think I said I was a future national sales director with this other company. And I was in the top of the 1%, top 1% of the company. Um, and yet I was finding myself dissatisfied um, really because I couldn't seem to give my level of success to someone else. And my heartbeat all of my life has been to empower people to really become and unleash their most magnificent self, that, that sleeping giant that's within them. And so I had found myself dissatisfied and frustrated, but I wasn't making the connection of that current reality. And that was really showing up in my body. You know, at my highest, I was 100 pounds heavier than I am sitting here talking to you guys today. And um, it wasn't, unlike David said, that he didn't have any specialty in this field. Well, I was a professional dieter, so I had a whole bunch of specialty in this field. <laughs> I had been dieting for 15 years and had a nutritionist, and I had a, you know, a trainer and all these different things. And it just, it didn't seem to matter. I could not seem to make that connection. So I'd gone on a trip to Hawaii with Lee and I. We were newlyweds a year and a half, and it was his first real vacation. Um, his first vacation that he'd taken was at 40 years old. He took his first plane ride, taxi ride, um, real vacation. He went to Las Vegas. And so this was his second vacation. We went to Hawaii for a week. And we got back, and I was looking at the pictures, and I thought, I need to lose some weight. Like, I am overweight. And in my mind, I thought it was 20 or 25 pounds. And it seemed pressing to me because my mom had had a stroke. And unfortunately, a lot of people look for change in their life when there's crisis, whether it's a health crisis, an emotional crisis, you know, a family crisis, life crisis. We don't have to change in times of crisis. We can change in times of just a life that is just not fully satisfying to us if we're willing to say, I wonder if there's more for me. So when we were in Hawaii, two things happened, those pictures. And the other thing that happened um, was I was looking at real estate and my dream had always been to own a, a home in Hawaii or somewhere else. And you know, what I was looking at was a starter home. There's a million dollars. And I thought I'm going to have to stream another income or do something different. And Lee really does not enjoy his job as a master tech. He's been grinding for 28 years with Nissan and I want to play with him. We want to spend time together. So I was searching and I want to say, if you even open up that window and you peek out of it, if you're looking, what you're looking for is looking for you. And I had unfollowed Terry Miller. I had unfollowed her because she kept showing her fabulous life and it was super distracting to me in my pursuit of being a national sales director. So not knowing Facebook, I had an assistant. I paid her to do whatever on Facebook. I didn't even know how to log into Facebook. That's why I probably posted on Terry Miller's wall 
call me. <laughs> I just had unfollowed her because it was distracting me, but I didn't know actually could unfollow, so I had unfriended her. So when I was asked to speak at a Chamber of Commerce event in Wilsonville, Oregon, August four and a half years ago, um, on living your dream, I thought, well, that's interesting because I don't feel like I am fully living my dream. And you know, you always feel a sense of loyalty sometimes and responsibility to other people. And what's so interesting is those people aren't living your life. So I want to ask you, you know, what would it look like for you to really live your dream? Forget about disappointing somebody or living your life for somebody else. And I was starting to think about that. So I spoke that night and somebody mentioned this company, um, this company, and mentioned that I might know Terry Miller, that this was the company she was in. And I thought, are you kidding me? Because we had been in the same company before. I said, is that where she went? So I went home and I did. I reached out because I thought, if this is a weight loss type component here, because that's what I was thinking I needed. And maybe Lee could get some freedom. You know, I don't know, we'll see. So we did talk the next day. And I wanna say to you guys, there's a few things that I love about Optavia that truly, absolutely um, really sealed the deal for me. One was it was relational. It wasn't, hey, go to this website and do this, or will you have a host a party for me or something? It was, how can I talk to you and help you? How can I authentically start to build a relationship with you? You know, we are a relationship driven company and that intrigued me right from the beginning. And, you know, I have to say one of the most important relationships that you're ever going to have is the relationship with yourself. And truly, um, that is something that was missing for me to the point of me almost having tears because I wasn't fully present in my life. I was there. I was on every field trip with my kids. I, I'd been an entrepreneur really for most of my life. And honestly, um, I was there physically, but I wasn't there mentally. My, my brain was spread in a million different places. I was a single mom for a lot of the kid's life. Um, I was making that income and it was quotas and it was starting over every month. And, you know, I'm a pretty faithful person and I really see the positive. And I think what you think about does flow into your life, but I was under a lot of pressure. And so when I found out that um, this was relational, that there was no inventory involved, there was no buy-in, that was another thing too, was sometimes I was bringing on consultants in my previous business and they didn't maybe have the skill set to start. And yet they were being told that they needed a large inventory. And I didn't always feel like that was the best fit for them to go into debt. I wanted them to create freedom in their life. I am all about freedom. And so when there was no inventory here, it was relationship based. And then that it was an equity business for reals, meaning you actually do own this business. And I had been saying for 17 years, I own my own business. But you know, when I resigned, after I met um, Dr. A, it was four months in, Lee did become the coach. Let me backtrack and say that I became the client that day. I talked to Terry and Lee decided to become the coach, although he didn't talk to people. He talked to cars. And I said, well, honey, who's going to talk to the people? And he said, well, you are. And I was like, okay, but I can't be a coach officially, you know, until I resign. And what was interesting was we really did partner. And just like he would have started any business, I helped him every way I could. And four months in, I resigned from a very, what would have been considered successful on paper, but not satisfying, not expressing the fullness of me and not fully present to my children and the people that mattered most in my life. And also I really hit a financial ceiling for many years. Over a decade, I think I was earning the same income. So when I came into Optavia, um, four months later I resigned. It was an amazing transition into a whole new world for me. And you know what's happened, you guys? It started with my mom um, getting healthy. You know, I knew right away as I was just shedding the weight and feeling great and this was different. This actually was really working and it was, like a relationship business and it had the habits of health and you know a community so many things that I was looking to learn I was absorbing everything Lee and I were helping 20 people then 50 people then 100 people you know I resigned four months later he resigned you know results not typical meaning it might not be your journey but that was our journey and I was having so much fun giving true freedom in every area um, physically mentally it's amazing what happens when you create a space to start living when you can actually become conscious and aware in your life, boy, you really start becoming the best version of yourself. And then financially, um, the blessing of, of this has just blown our minds. I leave um, in four weeks to go to Hong Kong to start working there to develop um, clients and coaches there and help them have better health as we get ready to go around the world. And now Lee and I have helped you know, thousands and thousands of people create health in their life. So there's so many reasons to open up your world and peek out that window and explore and see 
where there may be more for you because there is always more, more people to help, more life to live, more places to travel, more ways to give than you've ever thought of before. You just have to start seeking. So if you're watching this, I really hope that you connect with the person that invited you and you explore what this would look like for you because not only has our life changed, but we've helped so many other people have true freedom in their life. So, you know, it's, it's amazing the equity that's real here. You know, when they picked up my pink Cadillac when I resigned, they sent me a bill, um, not a check for a business that I own. I had a bill, so I didn't own anything. And so really it's about, you know, owning your life, taking your life back and creating a legacy. And, you know, with that said, I know the, the next amazing woman who I became friends with right away in Optavia. Um, we've had so much fun traveling, shopping together, playing together. Well, I know she was feeling kind of satisfied in her life. Um, and I'm going to let her tell her story. But why don't you come on, Miss Gina, and um, take us home? I love it. And thank you so much. And, you know, it's so fun to hear each other's stories because we were on the same path. Um, and yet just experienced it completely different. So just to give you guys a little backdrop on me, I'm a mom of seven. Um, so as you can see, these are my little kids. I have older children and then I have um, a second set of children. We call them our littles. You know, we have the, the bigs and the littles. And, um, and so I, I share this because um, I came to a place where I was desperate in my health. As, as far as my career, I had been self-employed for over 17 years. I'd built an amazing business and I loved every minute of it. I loved every woman that I helped. I cared so deeply for them and I, I wanted them to have the exact same success that I had. And so when I came to Optavia, I was not dissatisfied, which honestly, a lot of people are. I, that wasn't me. I loved what I was doing and I truly felt like I was making a difference for that person, making them feel beautiful on the inside and the outside. But what I didn't realize was that was coming at a cost. And that cost, you know, when you press pause, I want to challenge you guys to think, what is the cost on your family? Because those seven beautiful children that I wanted and that I desired and, and um, that, that honestly, at the end of the day, I wasn't pouring into them. I, I became self-employed because I wanted more time freedom, more time with them, right? I wanted to be the mom that could go on all the field trips. I wanted to be the mom that could um, show up to every baseball game, every baseball practice, do all the things that mattered. And you know what? In my mind, I was. I really, truly was. And so when I came to Optavia, I was just looking to look better in the stands. <laughs> it's just where I was. And so I, I did end up losing weight on the program and it was fantastic. And I felt better than ever. I mean, the energy was kicking in, but you know what? The energy for me kicked in three, less than three weeks into the program. And everybody around me was like, Dang! what happened to Gina? Where did this energy come from? I, I'm like, wow. I thought she was intense before. Check it out now. She's so much fun. I was standing hooping hauling. My kids were embarrassed. Anybody else out there have their kids be embarrassed because mama might be a little cheering too loud. Um, so, so people started asking me and I started referring because remember, I loved what I did and I, I, I just wasn't sure if I wanted a different identity. Has anybody else ever experienced that where you're like, you're so proud of who you are? that you forget that you're still becoming. And I was so entrenched in this image of who I wanted to be known as and, and that identity that I forgot that I was becoming. And so, you know, what happened is I started referring like crazy. When I say like crazy, like 23 girlfriends I referred. And do you know how many people actually called my health coach? None. And then my mama, magically, and I love to give her all credit for this. My mama showed up, um, saw me and was like, I want in, I want in. And so we joke and say, I was voluntold that I would be her health coach, <laughs> not optional. And um, I agreed on the deal. Remember that identity was so strong on the deal that she wouldn't tell a soul. 
but can you hide this? Can you hide how you're feeling? Can you hide how great you're looking? No. And so people started asking and my mom started sharing, oh, call Gina, call Gina, call Gina. And organically, this thing started to take off. And all of a sudden, one day, and just for me, and this is my story, but one day I woke up and my husband was like, wait a second, you're working 70 hours a week in this home-based business that you're never, ever home because you're out doing parties, making people look pretty. Our house is trashed. And I just looked in the bank account and your check with Optavia was bigger than your check from that other company. You worked how many hours in Optavia? What are we doing here, Gina? What are we doing here? And that is when I call, I, I call it my identity crisis, where I had to come to the terms, what was most important to me? See, Terry and Charlene both shared about dreaming and I had dreamt big. I've always been a big dreamer, but I had never dreamt Optavia big. I never had ever seen it this amazing. And trust me, I saw it pretty good. <laughs> but, but what happened and what occurred for me was this realization that not only could I make a very, very good living, but I could actually have time freedom. I could actually really do this thing that we had talked about, which was bringing my husband home from his career. We could actually do something together because see, he wasn't about to go to a party and put some lipstick on some ladies. Just wasn't gonna happen. But what happened is we could now come in full-term partnership, be home together, raising our seven children together where they got a mama and a daddy. For the first time in their life, I was able to work less hours, create the same income, and much like Charlene, I was kind of stuck. I was at the top of my game, and I hadn't had a raise in a really, really long time. And all of a sudden, Optavia came in and began to raise the bar for us, began to help us get financial freedom, began to help us give like we have never given before. It began to allow us to dream in ways we had never dreamt. And all of a sudden, that identity that we had clung so tightly to, it began to loosen up to realize, wow, no, I'm becoming. I'm becoming something. I am open. Are you open? Are you open to what you are becoming? Because see, I didn't have to do an either or switch. I could do both. And then as I became more and more successful, which ultimately, guys, the success in Optavia is helping others succeed. And in that other company, I was helping other people succeed, but I never was able to help them take ground. I was never able to help them come home and have both mommy and daddy be present. I was never able to give them the time freedom because I didn't have it myself. How was I gonna give it away? And in Octavia, we've been able to create that where we've helped others create a life of their dreams of what they wanted to accomplish, of, of how they wanted their life to be. And so I just wanna challenge you, who are you becoming? Have you let loose the identity of I'm just one thing and you've said, you know what, I'm becoming something that creates impact, something that creates massive change in the world. This is, in case y'all missed it, this is so much bigger than weight loss. I thought I just needed to lose some weight. No, the weight I needed to lose was the identity that I had held on to for so long that wasn't serving my family, wasn't serving my dreams. Much like Terry, I was leaning my ladder on the wrong building. That ladder of success could only take me so high and then I couldn't go any higher. And when I switched, and made, made, leaned the ladder to, to a different, actually really I changed vehicles, it wasn't pink anymore. Um, when, I, <laughs> when I changed to a 12 passenger van, because you know I do have a big family, um, when I changed I realized, wow, it's limitless. It's all up to what I dream, what I want it to look like. I'm pretty sure most of you would say, I'm good, I can pass on the seven kids. I'll just keep my two or three or four or some of you might have 12, I don't know. But here's the thing, we get to live this adventure once. One time, people, 
one time. And I want to challenge you today as, as you've looked into this and you've, you've heard our stories, I want to challenge you to let go of your identity, step into this adventure called life and become something great. Talk to your health coach, reach out to whoever invited you to this and say, you know, I need a little more information. I want to know a little more. I may not be ready yet. I wasn't, I wasn't looking for change. Change found me, but it's the best change I've ever made. So thank you, David, for allowing me to share my story. Wow, what an amazing three stories tonight. This is such an inspiring opportunity to just hear of uh, three people's lives that were transformed only by transforming the lives of other people. And so if you'd like to explore more, as Gina just said, talk to the person that invited you to participate in this webinar or who shared this video with you if you're watching the recording and learn more about Optavia. And if you want more details on the business compensation plan and how the uh, whole business model works, the person that invited you or shared this video with you can give you the specific details and show you the exact plan and why it's so amazingly unique that it's like nothing that you've ever seen before. So on behalf of all the panelists, Terry, Charlene, and the wonderful Gina, we're so glad that you joined us and we look forward to having all of you join us on the mission to get America healthy and then the world. Thanks everybody, have a great night. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team.